Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today I have some really interesting news on the PlayStation 5 and the cooling system that Sony has decided to use. Now, for the longest time, I speculated how would Sony cool the PlayStation 5. The GPU, after all, is clocked at 2.23 gigahertz, which is extremely high for any GPU, much less one inside an APU. Now, I had some doubts if they could actually maintain that heat, but if this pattern that we've discovered today is actually true, Sony really has pulled one out their hat here. Now this is coming courtesy of Alexandroid 1979 and he found a patent for the PlayStation 5's thermal solution. Now like usual I'll leave a link in the description down below and you guys can actually see the patent for yourself. Now the patent states that it's a heat sink that is disposed of a lower surface on a circuit board. The circuit board has holes through it and penetrates the circuit boards in areas where an integrated circuit apparatus is disposed. Heat conducts the pass and they're provided through the holes, the heat conducts the pass connecting to the integrate circuit apparatus and the heat sink the structure allows deposition of the components different from the heat sink and the same side of the integrated circuit apparatus thus ensuring a higher degree of freedom in the component layout. So basically they're cooling the APU from the top and the bottom. Now there's some holes that are in the motherboard, there's some pipes that run through it and it actually cools the PlayStation 5 system. Now this is pretty remarkable, actually revolutionary to be honest with you. Now if Sony uses this on their PlayStation 5, I haven't seen anybody use this before on the PC landscape or on any type of console. Now if I'm wrong, leave it in the comment section down below if you've seen a device that has a similar setup, but this is the first time I've seen something of this nature. Now it's incredible that they're going to be cooling it from the top and the bottom and that would most likely ensure that the clocks would be stable because the heat would be stable. Now because of this solution, I do believe if this is true, the Sony PlayStation 5 console could actually be a lot smaller than we anticipated it to be. Now the Xbox Series X is a larger console because it has to dissipate the heat. Now their motherboard, they have split it into two and they do have a pretty good cooling solution inside of it. But this takes it to another level. Cooling it from the top and the bottom would also ensure that the 2.23 gigahertz on the GPU most likely would stay at those levels and therefore ensuring that the console wouldn't run so hot. Now if the console is not running so hot, you don't need to have huge fans all over it and you could actually shrink the size of the console down. Now this is a very interesting development. Now Sony has gone on the record to say that many fans will be happy with the cooling solution in the PlayStation 5. Recently a Bloomberg report said that the PlayStation 5 had spent more money on its exotic cooling solution. Now that we have our first look at this patent here, it does appear that Sony is really going all out with their cooling solution for the PlayStation 5. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think that this patent is for the PlayStation 5? Do you think that the PlayStation 5 APU will be cooled from the top and the bottom and therefore making it a much smaller console than we first expected? Please let me know in the comment section down below and like I usually say, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.